Hello, good evening. Welcome to Upfront. This evening, it's been almost 48 hours since the Energy Minister of the Republic of Ghana was asked to go home. This decision was related to perhaps one of the most controversial deals Ghana has ever involved itself, the Ameri deal. Today, parliamentarians will converge to see how best we can fix it. Since they demanded for more documents on this matter, spiraling it into what happened to be a very big problem at the end of the day. My guest, I'll tell you after this break, and we have a detailed conversation on how best to go forward with or without the Ameri deal. You welcome back. My name is Raymond Alqua. This is Upfront. My guest today is the Honorable George Duca. The Honorable Member of Parliament is the Vice Chair of the Mines and Energy Committee. Honorable, you're welcome to Upfront. Thank you. Also on that particular Thank committee, you. former UN communication consultant. Yes, former communication consultant, uh, an, an opposition, a position, of course, that is currently occupied by, the way you're looking at me, Nana Damwa, Nana Opon Damwa. Uh, energy consultant or communication consultant to the energy ministry in times past. But the Honorable Member of Parliament is also here. The Honorable Edward Boy, you're welcome. Thank you very much. I hope you are doing well this I'm day. I'm doing great. Um, the last time we met, we were talking about whether or not ECG had every right to do what it was doing when we were going to have power or tariffs reduced. The tariffs were reduced, right? Yeah, the tariffs were reduced. Yeah. Significantly, it ought to be done. Yeah, I think so. They were reduced. And you failed to Praise the government for doing so. No, I let me make it very clear that every Ghanaian, including myself, will always want tariff reduction. Yes. But you need to always ask yourself what is the what will be the cost for that? God, you must give us something to get that. And um, again, I, it, uh, in as much as it doesn't sound to me that we are paying any cost for mm, no, 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 no. You just need to. I go don't back. feel it on no, my. No, no, no. You see, the cost is this. You will, you need to just go back and ask the practitioners. Just a match. The CEO of the current CEO of uh, Gridco mm -hmm. addressing the senior staff association of uh, the, uh, the, the, the company okay. indicated that just by the close of 2018, they will be uh, accruing the debt to a tune of about 300 million Ghana cities as a result of the reduction in the tariffs. So I'm not the one saying it. So even the practitioners within the. State, Let me ask the so, um, Mines and Energy Committee Vice Chair is this true? My brother, uh, the most important thing yes. uh, in, in our jurisdiction is for the consumer to have the costs being borne by him or her reduced. That is the most important thing. Yeah. So you have to have a judicious way of you know, cushioning and mitigating the pressure. Now, if there is a cost, like what we're having in a Mary deal, where it is sold 14.6 uh, almost, because it's 5.9 yeah. to VRA. VRA also uh, sells it 5 cents per kilowatt hour. The difference is absorbed by government. So that one, it's always done. But you need to have an efficient and prudent measure of mitigating the pressure. So, so I would say that we should incur losses for the future. Not for the future, but you have, debt for the future. you have a way of mitigating it. It's very important because uh, the the plight of the final consumer is key. Yet the final it consumer will pay in the future. In future, if, if I, I bear a cost for the future and I'll have a gradual way of paying it, it it's a prudent way of absorbing a you know, cost. I saw you shake your head. You, know, you have the dispute. You see, I've heard VRA itself if you make those points. But the truth of the matter is that if you look at VRA its own, as a, you know, VRO has different sources of generation. They have hydro. And they have thermal, and in fact, they have some uh, level of uh, okay. so there's always an average waiting arrangement that is done. So sometimes, yes, you can have the thermal being high, but it is compensated for for the unit cost of production using hydro. I see. So there's always an average that is done. So when I hear people say, <coughs> Oh, we buy power for this and we sell it at this, but they don't also tell you that they generate power with hydro at this cost and sell it at the other cost. Because it's always, it's, it's always average. So that's the point I'm just trying okay, to Okay, so, so we will leave electricity, but I said I have something to say. So that, that is why I said you have a way of cushioning 
Okay. At a point, so it's not the government. It's not the government that is pushing in it. That's the point of the VRE. If if it is with VRE, if if it is a course with VRE, then you say government. But if it is a success, then it's not government. It's VRE. That is that is the angle you are coming from. But but I just don't want to belabor that point. The most important thing is to have value for money to ensure that the final is value for money. Yes, obviously. The reduction okay. is key and it, it was important yes, that the, the government... Budget, the media review, the minister stated some huge amounts of money that um, the consumer seemed to have gotten from all of this. And, and don't and forget also... That's money in the pocket, actually. Yeah, and don't forget also the president stated in yeah. his first nation, state of the nation that yeah. is going to also renegotiate yes. all the IPPs and so on and to ensure value for money. We and understand that, is, that gas prices apparently seem to have also uh, suited us along the line. That is why we're talking about it. It's an advantage. See, it's again, a prudent see, way of... It's not prudent. My it's brother. prudent. My brother. Prudent okay, management to, of the energy no, sector. No, no, you so know something. Point. It's a prudent... You see, let me make a point. You yes. see, we are this platform is supposed to be an educative platform. Yes. So when you're giving that information, give the right information. If you look at the gas push, and, and indeed, if you look, you were in the committee when I asked a particular question to the energy minister. You see, you have, normally you have what you call indicative prices that you give for gases. After the production, after, sorry, after the construction of the whole project, you now come to get the real cost of the project. And on the basis of that, you can now have the final gas price. So all the prices that you had were indicative. As we speak now, if you look at the Sankofa Jinyame, the indicative price is almost around 8 point something to 9. Our understanding is that based on the savings that have been made, because the savings now, at one point we were told that it was 690 million, okay. at one point we were told that it was 330 million. But indeed, they have brought an independent auditor to audit to see what savings we have made. On the basis of those savings, you apply it on the gas price. So you don't just get up and say, oh, we came and we decided to reduce it. So when you so know that what, these prices so what, what are What sort of education prices, have you offered so far? The, the point is that you, you have not done any. You see, you need to tell people that in, in, in all project management for uh, energy projects, particularly yeah. gas, mm -hmm. there's always an indicative price. But after the cost of the project, because remember that the investor has a number of years to break even and then make his margins and go. So after the cost of the project, you then will look at what savings you have made. Then you apply it either in terms of reduction in the cost, because obviously the cost of the project affects the gas price, because that's how you can get your money back. And this you must make the public know. But if it may, I see, uh, I, I, I just, or the ex-minister for energy, ex-minister uh -huh. was so came and they saw that there was something wrong and they read the, what did they do? Okay, so I guess I, the point is to I, be I, made. I mean, I, I no, but, the, but I, what I, point has he made? I don't see the country yeah, in this particular yes, matter. He's only saying that, I mean, the process isn't complete yes. until there's a final audit yes. to determine the service. You just yes. mentioned that the platform is big and whatever you put out there mm -hmm. must be educative enough. Yes. And I, I'm wondering yes. what what sort of education has he has he you know oh, rendered so let's far? Let's do with Mary. Okay. Now <laughs> let's well, do with well, You've not uttered anything. I'm the surprised he says members so. Members of Ghana's Parliament. Let's do it, Mary. Now, on Mary, it started with five hundred and ten million dollars. The issue was contested, and I know that chapter three. Yes, there is also a page. 37 of the NPP's manifesto, specific reference was made to it being corrupt, was called dubious, and ought to be reviewed, and the manifesto promised that you would do so. Mm. That review apparently happened along the line. The Philippine Committee came up with an indication that it might have been overpriced by up to 150 million US dollars. Now, that committee had its own challenges, which we are not sure that's our focus today. Then, later on, we were told that the ministry was doing another review to make sure that the Ghanaian people were beneficiaries of this deal. Yeah. A deal was supposed to give us some savings of 400 million. Then ASEP had an unholy union with the minority to oppose this particular deal. I don't, yes, I mean, you hardly agree on matters. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but why are you calling it unholy? <laughs> they, they hardly agree on matters. So. <laughs> because, I mean, I remember when America came, ASEP opposed Dr. Kamala Donko and all the people that were actually mm. for it. Indeed, mm. even as of the time that they were doing the review, ASEP was back in the review mm -hmm. until the final results of the review came out and they actually were not happy with it. That's what I'm calling the yeah. uh, union unholy. Now, it ended up being the case that you in the committee also happen to have went with the finance committee in a, in a strange way that you together somewhat rejected or demanded some information. Then finally, the minister gets sacked. Then we are back to square one. Now, since you are vice chair of the committee, just walk us through exactly what was wrong with this deal. 
that led to it being rejected or led to your demand for more information? My brother, uh, is there even the need for us to even go back to the nitty gritties of, of, of the deal? Because uh, for you now... What is that? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. I because mean, for a government that said that we will review it, no, no, it's only put that we get I, to know I'm coming why there. I'm coming you there. didn't... You are a member of parliament. I, I'm coming there. Yes. Uh, if you allow me to make my point. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, a, 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 an agreement has been presented before a committee. The committee sits to ask questions that these are the modus operandi we want to go. And these are how we want to fine tune it. So, Mr. Minister, you can go and do A, B, C and come back. And presenting the agreement before Parliament is part of the processes. Yeah, I get it. You get it. And even having a letter from the presidency also allows Parliament to go through. So I was like uh, dumbfounded when I heard my colleagues going around mobilizing me the, the media guys to have a press conference. Because what was it for? We have an agreement before us. You had the opportunity of asking pertinent questions and now creating an impression that if they had not moved from uh, His Excellency and Mr. Ates funeral to join us, would have passed the bill or the, the agreement. That is also a fallacy. If because they are passing in their, in their presence anyway. Absolutely, because we outnumber them. So why this impression that we had something to hide and we chaired the committee? I see. And indeed, if you will be truthful on this platform, <laughs> it, was, it was the chair of the committee then who rather lambasted the delegation that appeared before the committee would cost things. He had his turn. Okay, so I uh, had my turn. There are ordinary member questions, ordinary people in this republic that want to know. So who prepared this agreement? Uh, obviously, the agreement was prepared by the minister. The minister himself or the ministry? Or the minister, else, the or minister, a consultant to the ministry. The minister will obviously have a team that okay. will advise him here and there, mm -hmm. as he was a consultant to the, to the, the then minister. Okay. So uh, uh, he's chopped a uh, big post. Uh, <laughs> Me, I was, which brother? I, I had which, a well bank. It's a well bank project. Which, That's what I was uh, when he was which, talking which, that. Which that brother about the doom so, like the, the, the the popular doom so, He was the consultant. Okay. No. And and yeah. the, the, that was just by the way. Okay. Yeah, so the, side, uh, okay. It, the minister will mm -hmm. have a team. Yeah. Then he presents an agreement. The agreement, so to speak, was not finalized. And it is not finalized. I and agree. as I speak with you, government hasn't signed any agreement with Sorova with any company. Oh. So yes, the gov government hasn't signed any agreement, and I'm so, putting so, it on so, record. So the executive approval that mm -hmm. was signed by um, Nana Santi Bedieto, what was the intent? Is to allow the process to, to flow. When you say process, what do you mean? I mean for parliament ratification. Okay. So for, did, was that any form of approval? No. So the no. executive. Executive because having having, <coughs> having having an approval yes. means you've finalized the deal. Then you think and say, yes, the deal has been signed. But unlike sorry. what happened during the NDC standing. Okay, let me let me get this point clear. <laughs> so what came to before Parliament was not one that was approved by the president. No, the president had a letter. The executive approval. We had yes. a letter. That in a, in any way indicated to us is there another definition of executive approval that but what does what do, what does reflect the from this particular thinking that it has been approved by the president that is there any other definition of mm -hmm. executive approval mm -hmm. that's different from no I mean we have a contract yes that binds Ghana mm -hmm. like the Mary deal the five hundred ten million dollars okay. that NDC entered into that one they brought it for the scrutiny of parliament. Parliament went through, finalized it, and even the KTM one said it was misrepresentation and called for rescission and so on and so forth. That is different because that parliament at that time, even though it did not mind the minority, the views of the minority, passed it through. But this time, an agreement is presented before us. Majority at that time said, no, we need to fine tune it. So go and do due diligence. Apart from the demand for specific documents, was there anything wrong with the agreement again? 
cost, personally, I believe we could have still brought the, 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 the deal down, you know, from the 11.6 uh, cent per kilowatt hour. We could have still brought it down uh, barely to uh, 10. I'll come back to you, but the Honorable Edward Bauer, exactly what was the problem with this particular deal beyond the demand for more documents? Good. Um, let me first break into three different things. And you ask a specific question. Mm -hmm. There were three major stages of this whole process. The first stage had to do with putting up the contract. And that was done at the ministry. Mm -hmm. So you will have all the technical people, everything yeah. doing it. And then they okay it. Then I'm using that's the part of the executive uh, angle. So this thing would have gone either to cabinet or to have gone to the president directly. But it came to the president. The president would have made an assessment of the contract. Look at all the details in it. And at the end of the day, see whether this will inure to the benefit of Ghanaians. On the basis of that judgment, he can then decide that, look, I am saying no to this agreement. Go back and deal with it. Or I give an approval. And that's what we call the executive approval. If it had gone the route of cabinet, cabinet would have looked at it. And on the basis of it, they say they give a cabinet approval. Then the memo is then attached to it and brought to parliament. At that time, the document then becomes the document of parliament. So what it means, and at that time, they had signed the document. I'm happy my friend used the word ratification. Okay. Ratification simply means that you have already done the deal, but we are going to okay it. I don't know what I'm making sense. Is that okay. why sometimes you can even have management, management taking a decision, going into an agreement with another person, and sending it to the board for ratification. That's why he used the word. Okay. So parliament was only to ratify the deal. But virtue of the fact that it involves an international uh, company. So your understanding of what has happened was that the executive <coughs> approval was actually a, a, a deal done at that level. It had done, and in fact, initialed. Okay. That is why the issue of Nicholas Mawusi Ado becomes part of the thing. You remember that Ad, Ad Mary said they were not a party to these yes, things. Yes, yeah. That, because from the ministry's point of view, if what we saw in the letters anything to go by, that's the basis for which Nicholas Mawusi Ado initialed. So you can't say that, oh, this was still the process. Now to the issue, the second question you ask, a parliament, what was just the problem with it? Let me first state this, that the intention, and I'll give you the reason why we came to them before we even come to it. The intention was that on that 27th of January, uh, July, that we were burying His Excellency, the former president, uh, the former vice president. The intention was to pass the deal that day. We meet that day and pass it. If you look at the other paper for that day, it was scheduled that the report of the committee would be laid before the floor of the house, plenary, for debate and the passage. I know that I'm making sense. I get you. Good. Now, when they came, there were two groups that were there. Our position was this. That look, there were certain condition precedent, even before an analyzing the contract itself. We needed the AG's op uh, uh, legal opinion. We needed the no objection from uh, the Minister of Finance because it was a contract that was running more than one financial year. We needed the PURC approved tariffs. We needed the value for money audit report. And we needed due diligence report on the, uh, what do you call it, the company itself. Five different reports. Five different, different, different editions. They didn't have it. However, when we're insisting that they should go and bring this before we start. But, but, case, but you actually had the, the executive approval and request. Yeah, but the executive approval, yes. That is, that is what the executive have brought it to us. So they yeah. have approval. But that was not one of the condition president. The condition president, these were based on law. Okay. You understand? So I we needed you. these things. We didn't have them. So some of us indicated, I said, look, let's go. Go and get your things sorted. And you'll come back whilst we go to our funeral grounds. They still said, no, we should go into the details. So now we went into the details. Now, in the details itself, we had the challenges that we have now all come to see. That the minister himself had not, to a very large extent, either deliberately or indeliberately, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, inadvertently, taken up certain conditions that in themselves didn't make sense. Why? The original Ameri, and that's the point you were asking, go walk through. The original Ameri were in two folds. They were in two folds because it was a BOOT arrangement. The BOT was supposed to last for five years. And because it was supposed to last for five years, in the first five years, the company, the developer, will have to get back his investment. So for the first five years, on the tariff structure, you have what we call the capital recovery charge. That is applied for it for five years. Mostly for any typical thermal plant. 
the capital recovery charge is applied for other 15 or 20 years. That's the life of the plant. Okay. But because this one, the capital recovery, the, 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 the cost of investment needed to be, they needed to get it in five years. They applied it for five years. So PURC approved a tariff in two folds. The first five years, that will have a capital recovery charge. And year six to year 20, that will have a tariff without uh, the capital recovery charge on it. Okay. So for the first five years, which we had done it, it was more than two years, uh, that's two and a half years, the capital recovery charge added to it was giving you a rate of 14.59 cents per kilowatt hour. Now from year six to year 20, because the capital recovery charge is taken off, you are going to get 10.4149. The minister's analysis was on the basis of the fact that he was assuming that because the 14.59, he applied it for the lifespan of the plant, which was the 15 years he was bringing. And that the, the, the capital, plus the capital recovery for the yes. year six honors. Mm -hmm. And then said that he was bringing a proposal of 11.714, which was giving him a savings of about 2.8 cents per kilowatt hour. So on the basis of that logic, the country was going to make the savings of about 400 million that he was talking about. I see. Are you getting the drift? I get your point. So that was just the flow. Without completely removing the removing capital Removing the capital recovery charge. Yeah. And Raymond, the argument I have made, I have worked in that ministry, yes, from 2010 to 2016. I know that the ministry has what it takes to have known this. The right expertise. Yes. Via other things. Besides that, the minister himself today, he's out of office now. But ask him, VRA, and that's why the VRA senior staff were against the whole issue. Mm -hmm. VRA senior staff had written to him that on the basis of these numbers you are giving, it didn't make economic sense. Particularly when the plant was a single cycle plant. You know, a single cycle plant, that means it isn't powered by just the, yes. the fuel. With a, a combined cycle, it the, doesn't steam, have gas. It, the steam is brought, so it becomes more efficient. So because it's a single cycle plant, and if, if you look at the shadows for the other plants that are coming on board, you have the early power and you have the Amandi. That will be ready in 2019. And they are both co a combined cycle. What it means is that a very strictly speaking, would be a standby plant or a picking plant when we need more power. Mm -hmm. But ordinarily, it will not be a base load uh, plant. But did you so factor it when you were entering into that agreement? Yes. That at a point. Oh, so let me make my point. Uh, so oh, okay. to your no, 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 no. Give me just one minute for him to run up. So at the basis of that, please do not go into this deal. The minister said lie and decided to and brought it to the presidency. I was expecting that at the presidency level, they would have put bricks on it. They also gave the executive approval. And again, just as I said that the, when the document came to parliament, it became the property of parliament. The moment the Minister of Energy decided to hand over the document to the presidency, it became the property of the presidency. So on the strength of that, the output or maybe the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the details of that, this thing, what do you call it, that contract, if it is anything that is wrong with it, beyond the, the Minister of Energy, the presidency has a liability on this. And that's the point that we're making. Okay, so l let me be clear in my mind. Um, it's all to do with the charges, the cracks of the problem that you raise is substantially to do with the charges. Yeah, it's the charges that bring the money. Yes. In any case, it's okay. the charges that bring I, the money. So, so. I get your point. <laughs> My brother, the question yes. I'm asking, and you keep on asking that question, that did the president sign anything, any deal that bind Ghana? The, that, that question I asked, yes. whether or not the Ameri at the point that so, the executive approval that was given constituted in and of itself an initial in of this particular deal. Yes, yeah, so you see, basically. Of the innovation and amendment deal. Basically, we have no deal, <coughs> as I speak with you, that binds Ghana. I get that, you. That, that, is, that is a point. No, so, so, so why, why if it has gone through and no, you have no, no, no. having the no, impedance no, 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 no. and the okay, moral no, right, no, 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 you no, having no, the impedance please. and moral right to criticize this deal. I just don't want to go into the. Oh no, no, we can go to the main deal. The old I just one. Don't want, because I am ready for that one. I, st on. I still stand by. I want by. to go as to the old but one. The point it was that to this Ameri deal, no, no, and overpriced. That is again. yes. You see, Raymond. Oh. I, you see, am, I am. I am. When when oh, no, no, when no, no, he was speaking, I didn't come in. No, please, allow me to. Okay, let me let me finish. I will take I will take up that. You see, this Ameri deal. I still stand by the point that it was overpriced. The 510. Absolutely. So Even anything anything you do about <clears throat> it, you need to be careful. Otherwise, you commit yourself. And that is where the minister comes in. Is it true that there was actually some form of a Ministry of Justice letter to the Energy Ministry 
advising it to be careful, to be cautious, because the deal was airtight. That is also being concocted by the NDC. Really? It is oh. being concocted There's by the like NDC. There's nothing like that. Actual letters like that. You have seen the letter. Yeah, is that an uh, official letter? It, to, it, it, that it looked to me like is an it, official is it, letter. No, we, it, it looks it, to you. It, yes, it looks you to me. You saw it in the... I the, do not have the capacity They started writing letters here, circulating, you know... So you no, no, but I mean, this is a serious claim. Yes, it is concocted. Who in the NDC concocted this? Because... I'm, 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 I'm coming. No, no, I'm no I've, I've not mentioned, but I said the letter is concocted. Yes, because I have not seen a copy. As, as, a, as, a, the vice chair, I, as okay. a vice chair of the Mines and Energy Committee, yes. I haven't seen any letter so indicating. So you come to the conclusion it's been concocted when you've not examined it? Because somebody hinted, before even appearing before this, mm -hmm. somebody hinted that he's also seen a dubious letter going around, purported oh, to be oh, coming uh -huh. from... The, the attorney's general department. So your but definition I can and your insistence on concoction is pale because you've been told it is concocted. Yes. And who is this somebody you're talking about? That is being con the, the letter yes, was the concocted from the, that the person's outfit. Yes. I, I, what I know is the letter <laughs> was concocted by the NDC. Uh, you, if you, you want to take that one out, I have you, no problems with that. You, because you, you, you have said, said it. You have no, no, said you it. stated that first. That but the but NDC as, as he is firming it up, then I will obviously say that it's coming from his outfit. So no, but you have no basis to make the claim that the NDC uh, But I'm letter. saying, I, I'm also putting it on record that yes. we, there's no letter from the Attorney's General Department. That's okay, so we can disregard because that. Because we asked, and okay. he rightly said, the minister said, <coughs> we'll go and come back with it. Okay, but this point that we are right now, where do we then go with this Ameri deal? Because it that sounds to me like, I mean, it was supposed to go through some process. The process was not completed. The man spearheading the entire process has been removed. So where do we go with this? The basic fact is, we all know that we're struggling with this Ameri deal. Why are we struggling with it? We are struggling with this because of its nature. And it was so overpriced that even handling it becomes difficult. Because okay. if, if after, after even handing it over to us, that he is talking of the 10 cent per kilowatt hour, the 10.4 cent per kilowatt hour that we're going to yeah. pay, and that uh, the That's capital recovery charge is removed, and if the, That's capital, if the capital recovery charge is removed, have we calculated the 10.41 up the 15 years that will be you know, left? Have we calculated the cost of it? It is also running into billions of dollars. How much is it? Have you done the, the checks? No, no, I have not. I mean, to be fair, I have not actually yes. made any so, claim on so, this. So but I, you are saying that to run so into billions. Because, because the 510 million, 510 million, we are accumulating to get the 510 million out of the 14.659 cent per kilowatt hour. That yes. is making up the 510 mm -hmm. million. And now we know we're going to pay after the handing over. We're going to pay 10.4 cent per kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. And if you calculate the four, the 10.4 cent per kilowatt hour, you are equally hitting around 1.1.2. 1. 1. So the 12 point something that the ministry suggested was better. I, I, I just don't want to go because uh, that one has been settled. That it, is settled on that. That one is so no I don't want area. to go there. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to I go get there. Your point. I, I, so I'm we are not back to the original 510. Yes. yes. So what we need to do mm -hmm. is to take our time. Now that the president has directed that the minister steps aside for uh, another person to act, uh, I will advise that we take our step, time. step aside. Okay, oh, he has been relieved of uh, his office. That's uh, all, uh, I, mean. I, I, I don't have uh, any problem uh, if he, he gives his stamps because that is what he wanted. That is what they are pushing. And uh, I see, you know, the NDC now saying that the letter that came from the presidency is a letter that seeks to, in a way, uh, endorse the agreement and that someone must also resign. At the presidency? At the presidency. That is what they are now parading everywhere. You are opposed to that claim? I vehemently opposed to that. Because uh, you having a listening father who, you know, asks uh, a whole cabinet minister yes, to step aside without any cost. Because he's not, he's not in actual fact, commit, he's not committed. Then Mr. Jack could do anything wrong. The president says in his own wisdom, because he's the coach of this government. Then he, Mr. He Jack could do anything wrong. And he has things that I don't. Okay. And says step aside without you know we don't even was as he, an as an as a speaker, do you have the reason why he was wrong doing? do you know I the reason heard, was i have heard eugene i say that yeah. it's related to the american deal as to what exactly is in the american deal that is talking so, about I don't so know. we leave it because there are things that the president you know here that we don't 
But he sees. Okay, so not the president. I'm saying, do you think that the minister did anything wrong? Uh, from the report that we received, yes, I, 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 I believe we could have brought the cost down. So. so down. He did poor negotiation or probably put together a poor contract. Oh, comparing Why should to, he be removed for that? Comparing to what the NDC uh, uh, did, did. It was better. Uh, it, it was far better. But it didn't meet the uh, NDC but, standard. But NDC is not our benchmark. <laughs> NDC yes. is not our benchmark. I get Actually. your point. So uh, we, we want the betterment of Ghanaians, not okay. what the NDC did. And we know so using that is it the first the time? Is it the first time that any minister has submitted to your committee a document that you think was not fit and proper? That, that is also another angle. That I'm asking you the yeah, question. No, that is that isn't the I'm first time because there are instances where, where bills yes. are presented before parliament mm -hmm. that are withdrawn. Yes. We, they, they, they lay the bills, we go through, and they come later to say we are withdrawing the bill. And my, my brother will testify. And he even mentioned that the in, other in, paper in this we had in this government. Oh, means you know in this government. Previous government. I mean, I'm talking about this government. We it's it's part of the parliamentary you it know, happens all the time. It happens so all why, over the world. Why do you think and this sounds and look extraordinary? It's because of the way they are championing. The way they just want to, you so know. So the president equal. removed the energy minister, because the cabinet minority. minister, because minority complaint. No, because because we, you, including yes. you and everybody, say there's something that we, we need to look into. As I, far I, as I, this I didn't forgive me. I didn't even understand the system that well. So I, uh, I, I so, was not. So yes. People, so he said that people complain. So the, the, so the, the president, president said to the, the minority said, and other people. The president, he's a listening father. He says, if the the dust is not settled, please step aside for for us to look into this matter. Oh, no, I, I will come to you and ask you to answer the question: Where do we go from here? What do we do with the deal? Further review or leave it as it is? But after this break, we'll continue with that front. Welcome back to Upfront. My name is Raymond Alqua. Today, we're looking at what happened in the Ameri deal and what's the best way forward. My guests are the Vice Chair of the Energy and Mines Committee in the Parliament of the Republic of Ghana, the Honorable George Duca, and also the Honorable Edward Bauer, who is also a member of that particular committee. We left off with um, the Honorable George Duca on me coming back to ask you the way forward. But first, you have some concerns when you were speaking about how the parliament together was unified in opposition to this particular deal? Look, I think that actually where I wanted to intervene, it was this. As to whether the parliament was unified on this deal or not, basically the truth finally came out that the deal was a bad deal. And that's why we never made progress beyond the very first meeting. Mm -hmm. But you see, I always, and I, I had my friend indicate clearly that look, if you look at the deal, the deal was, uh, even the deal was still better than Ameri, but it's just that uh, the NDC is not the standard. Using the figures, yes, absolute the figures. figures. Yeah. The, 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 it's not the standard. Of course, that one, I wouldn't want to debate. Everybody knows that that is not, that cannot be true, based on What's the What's the difference in the figures that you think uh, should be? If I'm telling you that I'm, I have a situation where uh, you are going to charge you 10.4149, huh? mm -hmm. and for, f uh, what do you call it, the next 15 years, and the plant is mine. And I'm, the other scenario where I'm charging you 11.714, and then for the same 15 years, but the plant is even not yours. Are you able to manage the plant if it is yours? Are you? Do you have the capacity to manage it? Yeah. By your yeah. Yeah. Was about the figures. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's the, the but see, but I'm going to come to a point. You see, we are all m talking and moving on the assumption that the American deal itself was wrong. And I've heard people make those statements. For example, that when the Addison Committee came, they said 150 uh, a million. Uh, overpriced. Overpriced. Yeah. The minister, on that day, at the committee meeting, we put it to him. Whether the Addison Committee support. But Ray, oh, why are we going back? Oh, you let you, you, you asked my point. I thought you were coming in let for me, a moment. No, uh, because because I had sorry, the, I sorry, had sorry, the money. Let me make my point. Okay. Please oh, go, make go. this point in a moment. Yeah, no, but I, I, I thought I'm also no, having no, my second bite. I was having the... Oh, I've not gotten to my second bite yet. No, 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 no. Okay. No. You asked me a question and said you were coming in. If you don't want me to talk, I'll just keep quiet. I'll just keep quiet. It is calm now. Can you proceed with the point? Yeah. Because You are at the point of saying that the minister talked about... Yes, he said the 150 overpriced edition. We asked him specifically whether he commissioned a, co a committee chaired by Philip Addison. He said, he, no, he didn't give a direct answer. Mm -hmm. Then we asked him whether he had a report of that nature. He said there was a draft report that was out mm -hmm. there, but that was not the report. 
And we said, does he have the report? He said, yes, but he, it was treated as confidential. And we said, we are talking about a, co a contract that you think that at the end of the day, it is, it is overpriced. You want to give us a basis for replacing it. Can we see that report? He still said that it was confidential. However, there's a report that my friend has. So he didn't dispute or deny the... the yes, yes, he didn't. Then, there's a report that is available. You remember that Which when, report is I'm this? coming. I'll be patient. But you, said, well, no, you said there's a report. Yeah, that's the report I'm going to talk about. Be patient. N name you and where it was done. Who that's the Price Waterhouse Coopers audit report okay. on the project. Good. You remember when there was this hue and cry over the overpriced nature of the this mm -hmm. Price Waterhouse Coopers was commissioned to do an independent value for money audit. That document had been given to every member of the Mines and Energy Committee. If you read that report, there were key components they looked at. They looked at the, gener uh, the composite generation tariff. They looked at the internal rate of return. They looked at the capacity tariff. And they also looked at the installed cost per kilowatt. And on these four, on these four, America was very competitive. And they took them compared to about eight or seven comparable thermal plants installed in Ghana. When you, you, when no, you no, were listing this no, for, you mentioned the, cap the capacity oh, tax. But no, when, you, when, you, when oh, you were debating, you never mentioned oh, the capacity tax. That point. was reduced oh. from 5 to 3. You never mentioned it. You still have some 45 seconds to conclude. Yeah, so, but so, you still, you, you suffer no, all no, the time. No, 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 so, no, I mean, I, you yes, know, I know you are not And the most so. interesting part, and that's the part we are worried about. PURC has an allowable internal rate of return for all thermal plants. That is between 17 and 18%. Indeed, if you look at Ameri, the internal rate of return was 17.3. And SIPA had made a survey in August 2015 that suggested that even the existing IPPs that we have, their rate of internal return, uh, internal rate of return is between 18 and 20. But you know the rate of return that was for this kind of metallurgy, 63%. Why on earth? Over 370 percentage increase. I guess that's why it was rejected. Yeah, so no, 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 I am just no, going to, no, so that's the point I'm trying to make that. Uh, uh, if you have, take, if you have. Because, because, me, because these the figures years. are not sorry, my figures. Me, sorry. These yes. figures are not my figures. Honorable Duka, are you disputing the figures? These figures are not my figures. What? Which of them are, because, because, then I'll bring because, it out. Because if, if you, if you buy in a house. If you buy in a house, can we stick with the thermal plants? No, 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 no. I mean, yeah. I'm you just now, stating a scenario for, you for, say, for viewers that, to just sorry, understand sorry, and that, appreciate. When you say that the figures are all true, I want you to state the contradictory figures. The, I'd not an analogy. No, he case. is taking the absolute figures to add up because if you do the NPV of yes. which do the NPV of what? the two projects, do the uh, NPV of the two projects. Absolutely, sorry. and <laughs> you, you can't you can't just take five years and fifteen years and no, compare. You don't. You can't. You don't do you that. Level you levelize it. Yes. You levelize it. Yes. And if you that level is what I want you. And if you do that, yes. If you, if you do that for each year, five years, it is not up to the 63, 68 that you are mentioning. You know. So now will you go and break again? I'm, I'm, if, no, you go I'm break, if you go and break, if you go and break, I'll break read the I'll read the I'll read the PWC's own calculation on NPV. Okay. For all the thermal plants and that of America. If you, if you have it, read it now. Sorry, sorry, don't go. Why do you, why do you have to go? Look on my the okay. figures, the figures, I'm not having <laughs> the figures here. Out, the, I don't have but, the figures here. Yes. But the figures he is uh, now creating, conjuring, is, is, is not correct. How am I conjuring them? Sorry. Now, Does he have that document or not? I, I have, I have the document. So do you have but I don't have it yet. Are you going to, do you have contrary figures to what I can give it to you, Ray. I can give it to you. Can we make progress? Yeah. What I want from you is, what should we do with the Ameri deal currently? Uh, now, it's sort of uh, uh, an, a Dubai shrine that has been brought to Ghana. <laughs> a Dubai shrine. If you go in there without slaughtering a, a sheep, you will be found wanting. I it's something, it. yeah, something <laughs> strange that we have in our hand. Because he has you know, already mentioned that after five years, we wouldn't even need a marriage. So Meanwhile, what, what they considered the lifespan. That's not what I that said. That is what you That's said. No, you said, said it's going to be made redundant. It's going to be made redundant. And that would not go I want a specific answer to my question. What should we do with I was going to, you know, finalize on that. I'm not going, I don't want, I don't want, I don't have much worse to do. Please do. And he interjected. So please stop. Sorry about that. So going forward, what we need to do is to be strategic on this. Take our time, uh, go through the previous agreements that we have, and probably find ways of reducing the cost. And reducing the cost means let's the two, engage two again. and a half years that is left. Yes. Let us engage them. How do we reduce the five and ten 
uh, million dollars. Okay. How do we reduce the cost? Now we're paying $102 uh, million dollars annually. Can we pay 85? Let's engage them. What do we have? So and that is what Ghanaians want to hear. There's a minister acting. What do you expect of him immediately? Um, to summon all the stakeholders involved. Can he do the job? Oh, he's, he's, he's uh, a man of, you know, a high repute. He was with the Africa Centre for Energy Policy. Uh, I'm giving to understand he has uh, three master's degree in the area, but I absolutely, want to know whether he I can do the job. I was, for I was, I was with him That's in United Kingdom. I was with him in in United Kingdom. Yes. I was with, I was in Plymouth whilst he was in Aberdeen. Okay. Uh, started the same program with this same program, uh, you know, and uh, I know his competence. When I was a okay. municipal chief executive, he was also a municipal chief executive in Hohoi. Okay. And he's been in governance for a while. He's managed the lands and natural resources well, and mm -hmm. he's competent enough to handle the place. So I don't have any problem at all. What do you expect uh, of him immediately? Uh, is to get all <coughs> the stakeholders. Uh, you know, around the Ameri deal, and <coughs> maybe have further discussions as to how best we can bring the cost down. That is Should the interest of Ghanaians. Should millennials completely be out of the system? I, I, I don't think so. If we have an interest, mm -hmm. if we have an interest of bringing the cost down, how do they also play a role if there is a need for them okay. to play a role? Should and we re-engage them, millennials? The essence of millennials and other interested, uh, you know, companies is to bring the cost down. So if they are ready to negotiate better and bring the deal down, considering uh, you know the uh, the uh, capital recovery okay. and other things uh, factors, I believe. Uh, My last question to you is: If we get all the five different documents that we demanded, can we continue with the deal in this current form? Uh, plus the the cost reduction. If okay. if we have the tariffs uh, uh, with the PURC uh, arrangements and other you know factors that were indicated. Reduce, I believe uh, it will be a good deal for us to. Well, Abu Baba, you're confident John Peter Amewu in the interim can turn the fortunes of this deal and the ministry around? I don't know, unless it goes there. You see, there's a difference between talking and doing. I see. You remember when the current the former minister yes. went on the vetting and came? Some people, even in some civil society organizations, put it on Twitter. This is the energy minister we should have gotten 10 years back. Mm -hmm. One and a half years, we're all in trouble. Uh, so trouble are you? Oh, so let me, I'll, I'll oh, let me please. I'm let me begging you. So I wouldn't know. I have mm -hmm. known Peter over a period of time because okay. of the job he was doing at ASEP. Okay. We, we, we interfaced a number of times I because of people in the same sector. I think he can be given the opportunity, but as to whether he will perform or not, depends on his attitude towards it. That means that you are asking the way forward. Yes. Me. You see, the first thing Peter will have to look at, basically, is to first look at the whole industry and what is happening in the industry. America is just what we have discussed. But the truth of the matter, there are other issues that are being, they are very dangerous for all of us. As we speak today, and I think this is one and of the And I want a simple question, answer to this one. Should we leave America currently the way it is or still Yeah, obviously it? I'm going to end up saying that we should leave it and I'll give you reasons. Okay. But I'm going to tell you something. As we speak now, there's another dangerous issue that ECG board has refused to sign. The concession? The PPE. Power purchase agreement. You know, another emergency plan that came was a car power ship. Mm -hmm. The car power ship came with the fact that it was supposed to do 10 years. Now, this government comes in. They increase the capacity. They, they decide to replace the 225 and to 450 because they're sending it to Western region. Yeah. And they increase the tenure from 10 years to 20 years. That's 100% increase in terms of the tenure. Now, rule of thumb for what they call it, this set of practice within the industry is that when you increase the tenure, the price that of the capacity charge reduces between 30 to 40 percent. They increased it by 100 percent and reduced it by 8 percent. Now the 32 percent that we should have had a reduction in, who's screaming around it? They took this PPA because ECG was the off-taker. ECG okay. board refused to sign it to tell you that there's something wrong with that. So the Minister for Energy car must begin, ship. car power ship must begin to sanitize some of these things within the energy sector because people have seen it as if it is a milking cow that everybody can go for. Now you're asking me you whether... Are, you're saying that government is seeking, among other things, to extend their duration... No, no, they... Uh, they in, yes, they have done that and even from, made a, what they call a PPA. But because they, for a generating plant, there must be an off-taker. The off-taker is uh, ECG. ECG. It has to be uh, approved by the okay, board. Yeah. The board has refused to do it because they know the industry practice. Okay. That if you increase it from 10 to 20, that's 100 percent. The reduction should be between 30 to 40 percent. Okay. So if you have 8 percent, 
the 32 percent what is the negotiation you did and got to that level so that is the part that he, he needs to look at but you're asking me go, so going for a potential scandal it's a potential scandalous thing when we finish with this we will concentrate on that one you see the other the point is that look if you look at america as you speak now we just have two and a half years to go you understand I get you. and the plan becomes wholly government of ghana via vre in terms of possession all other charges that will go between year six and year this are uh, operations and maintenance that vre will have to do fuel costs and other things okay. you understand my point i get your point so why would you want to take another company to come and take it over beyond the two years okay i get it yeah. so way forward is that let's leave the america as it is and it is not because it's a bad deal because there has been independent bodies that have indicated that it's a good deal okay and move forward but, that is all we should but, do but okay. let's did see you, did you, did, this, this is an obsession you see did you just say did you just ask him a final question did you did you no i just i just want to yes but he'll make that point i just want to be clear this car power deal that he made mention of is it true that there's an extension in the offing i i have not i don't have any document to that effect i don't have any document to that effect i have also head of it but yes. i don't have any document to to that effect and uh he just you know he just mentioned it out there so that, that, scares you can run that, up, yeah. yeah that uh we're going to uh, be having the Ameri mm -hmm. uh and without any cost that is the impression that he's creating now that is, no, he, says, no. he says operational and maintenance and just and, course, just, and uh, use the word just operational and maintenance and without cost. indicating the cost we are going to pay ah, ten those cents are per variable cost. no we're going to they pay no no we're going to yes. pay 10.4 cent per kilowatt hour. Yes. And but that's for, for the remaining that's not that's not that's Yes. So, no, but that is the impression no, being created okay. out the there. That, 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 is, okay. that we're not going Benzie, to pay any. That's why we have to do this conversation again. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11 to 10. Minia, minia. What is the difference? What, what, what is the difference? It's 0. 0.6. 11 what? from 11 to 10 is 0. 0.6. I get you. Get you. No, no problem. Giving it to someone to manage. That's where we tie the dice rebates on today's edition of Upfront. Thank you so much. And a member of the Committee on Energy and Mines and also the Vice Chair were my guests in the studios here. We talked to Mary and the way forward is pretty obvious anyway.